Hi, this is John McDermott, and today I'd like to show you how simple it is to view JSON data in Excel. I recently had a need to look at some client data that was in the format called JSON, which is JavaScript Object Notation. It looks sort of like that on the screen there, but this isn't the real thing. This is some test data available on the web. Now, take a look at this. This is really hard to look at and manage in Chrome, so let's look at it in Firefox. Well, that's not much better. We see the records, but we got to expand each one individually if we want to see the whole thing, or we can look at the raw data as we saw it in Chrome. But that's still a little bit of a mess. So let's try looking at some data in Excel. Now, the first data that I'll look at is a little bit simpler than that data. So I'll go over to my Power Query here. I'll grab data from the web. Here's the URL, and it's going to bring in JSON data. Now you'll notice it's a list of named random. We'll take a look at that and expand it. There's the list. Let's convert it to a table so we can bring it into Excel. Yes, I like it the way it is. And that's what it'll look like in Excel. So let's bring it in. Close closes this window and loads it into Excel. Bang! Now I have a whole list of random information. Just random numbers. That's a really simple thing to bring in. Just a really simple array. So let's take a look at that. Make a simple graph. It is random data. I don't want to scroll through all thousand entries, but there's the thousand entries plotted, and you'll see that they're over there randomly. Looks like a good scatter to me. Now let's create a new sheet, and in this one, we'll bring it in from a different source. And this will bring in a group of data that's the same one we saw in the very beginning. Looks kind of like website comments. There they are. But you'll see that they're all this record thing. We don't know what the records look like. So we'll make it into a table. Same as before. Only now you'll notice there's this funny little arrow, arrow thing like a left turn and a right turn up at the top. We'll click on that. And now you'll notice that we have the columns spread out and we can look at all in the comment columns for the commenters. That's the data I like, so let's load that into our spreadsheet. There it is. <clears throat> all the data that we brought in. Notice their comments are, you know, bogus, the Laura Mipson kind of thing. Now, this is a lot easier than trying to write custom code. I can process it. I can sort it. I can do whatever I want. This is really easy to manipulate. It's easy to do in Excel. And if I want, I can just scroll through all the data, taking a look at it, or sorting, 
or whatever I want to do, or even export it in some other format, like comma-separated values. <clears throat> well, I hope this really simple way of showing you how to bring JSON data into Excel makes it easier for you to manage JSON data.